diminish the, the good and go with the great, and you've got a fighting chance. Got Milk was our first account. And now, let's make that random call with today's $10,000 question. It's a tough one. Started writing as many ways as you can f somebody, you know, by not giving them milk when they needed it. Who shot Alexander Hamilton? Mm -hmm. Hello, for $10,000, who shot... Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Uh, my name is Chuck McBride, Chief Creative Officer of Cutwater here in San Francisco. Came to Los Angeles looking for a, a way into the business, you know, and they wouldn't even hire me for a receptionist. I've just been so lucky because I've, I've been able to work with some of these legends, Jeff and Rich at the Hey Dave, could be Silverstein and partners. I was able to spend some time at Wine and Kennedy actually running Nike, and I got a chance to work at Chiat Day with, with Clow. I'm kind of a, a weird combination of these three big experiences. To care about other people's work more than your own, I think is the best definition of a creative director. It's not necessarily the things that you're able to do, it's the things you're able to get other people to do. Creative directors are weird because, you know, I think there's two kinds. There's a creative director that got to its, his position that still feels they need to do the one ad that defines their career. And then there's the creative that have done that work and they can give up worrying if they ever have to do it again. When you're able to do that, you've got a team. We're in a business where we've got a lot of great minds, a lot of great thinking, and they all want to pop through. And I think the hardest thing to be able to do is pick the great out of the good. A good piece of work is one of those things you look at first and you have to kind of go, wait, is that good or does that really suck? And then you realize that was really good because it stopped you for a second. One of my favorites was uh, working on a project with a German shoe company, Adidas. It was a technology shoe where we, we invented an idea that with every step creates the world in front of you, which gave us so much creative license at that point. We had a guy, you know, out there running and, and creating streets and jumping and then running on sidewalks sideways and going upside down. And it was such a big reach for them as a German sports company to understand that this was a neat idea. But one of the headlines that came out of it was the best commercial that Adidas has done recently was a music video for a pair of shoes. And the feedback that I had gotten through friends and, and other people that I'd worked with is it gave them faith in the business again. When I heard that, it was like, oh shit, good. Maybe, maybe something I did helped everybody realize that there's another new thing. And if you, if you keep digging, you'll, you'll find new things. For me, from an advertising standpoint, you know, one of the biggest challenges is watching our industry kind of caught in this ebb and flow between what's digital, what's social, you know, what's traditional. And it's really kind of frustrating because it's still the story, right? It doesn't matter where you put it. We're being asked to, to juggle more than one ball in terms of the messaging. That's not fair to your audience. Your audience doesn't want to catch more than one ball. So make that first five seconds great, and if it becomes really something they watch, then you're rewarded for it at the end. You have to do something good, because if not, you can fast forward it, delete it. How annoying is it to sit there? You just wait for that damn skip button. When we could work in a true respect for what audiences really want, not what a, a client wants to say, but what the audience really wants to know and how they want to be entertained. So damn it, respect me. Actually make me kind of go, I could, I could watch a few more of those. The brands might eventually figure out entertainment. You know, we can tune into Ray-Ban television. And then if the brand was done a really good job, you know, you, you serialize it, you get another installment the next time. There's no better time to be in this business than right now. There's absolutely no better time. And if you don't come into this business now, you're probably missing out on a pretty great era that's about to begin. I'm Chuck McBride, and you are watching Showcase Presents.